All right, here we go. What's up, everyone? My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist, and uh, let's do this. I was doing a, uh, I was doing a little bunny. I did actually earlier. You can see it there. I did a little bunny painting, um, live on, on, on Instagram. On the grams. I'm gonna do another one for you guys, but this one's gonna be a little slightly different. So here we go. Uh, I'm gonna do it on a on a on a little canvas here. I don't know why the bunny thing just kind of just it just feels right. Who knows why? It just does. So I'm gonna do another little bunny. Okay. So. I'm gonna try to do it like that, and I'm gonna try to get it in there so that you guys can see it. There we go. Hopefully this'll this will make it somehow. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start drawing it very simple with just a brush right here. Okay, I'm gonna start doing a little outline. Very simple little guy. Little head, big eyes. Big eyes, little nose, boom, little mouth, All right? Big old cheeks. Okay, and then they curve up. And then here comes the ears. Very simple, all right? Keep it simple. And then chubs, right? Let's make him super chubs. Something like that. <laughs> Let's make him chubs. Well, because if they're, if they're not chubs, they're not cute. Right. They have to be chubs. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my magical brush. I'm gonna get some red, some yellow. <laughs> And I'm gonna go to town with him. Get it. Super simple. Simplicity, baby. Simplicity is where it's at. If I had a religion, it'd be called La Simplicidad. No, I'm just joking. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Simplicidad. <laughs> oh, it's not in the, the religion of Simplicidad. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. don't. Don't start religions. I think we have enough of those going on. Um, but yeah, you know, keep it simple, guys. Look. Boom. Keep it simple. Look. Bam. Bam. Look at that. Right? And then there's some darker areas, and that's where I use. And I try to, I try to keep it colorist, right? I, I, it's, it's where I use pure color. Like this is blue, right? I'm just using some blue right here. I use some red over here. Look at that. This red with blue. I guess it's purple, huh? That would be. Would that be purple, red, or blue? Something like that, huh? I don't know. And then boom. Boom, boom, boom. Cutie pie. Simple. Precious. Anyone can do it. If, I, if this cat can do it, anyone can do it, guys. I promise you that. Just don't... Don't overthink it. Right? When you're creating art, don't overthink it. Oh, which brings me to the next point. If I, I think if I had a point before, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this the next point. Uh, I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. Every single day, I wake up when I come to my studio, and I question myself. Okay, I'm like, man, am I gonna do anything good today? What I'm trying to say, guys, is that this shit runs through my mind too. Whatever runs through your mind, your mind runs through mine too. 
And, and I'm the type of artist who goes into the studio and paints for a good 10 hours a day. 10, 12 hours. A good day is 12 hours. Most of the time it's 10. Um, I'm moving to 14 hours again, like when I started. It's going to make me a super badass again. But uh, I question myself, guys. Uh, I know I know, I know. know it's weird. A little vulnerable here. Because right? most, most people don't, don't say that. They're like, whoa, no, you, look, you paint with such confidence. Yeah, but I question myself every step of the way. I got to tell you, I don't know why I question myself. But I do. All the time. But regardless of that, I paint. And I paint with all the fear in the world. I'm like, oh my God, am I doing it right? And I've been at this for a long time, okay? Just to give you an idea. The reason why I'm opening up to you guys out there is because I get a lot of DMs on Instagram or messages on on Facebook. Or some people right here on, on YouTube. And they're like... You paint so free. Oh my God. Amazing. And I'm like, the style is free. My mind is always fucking with me. I don't know what you guys are talking about. So, <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is, look guys, I know a lot of you out there have the same feeling. I know that because I, I get the messages. Um, Don't fight it. Don't fight that feeling. Just don't listen to it. I mean, it's it's going to be there. It never goes away. Uh, at least that's what Stephen Pressfield says. From <laughs> the author. About uh, the war of art or something like that. Uh, I didn't get it from there. I've always felt that. And I've always known. As an artist. I've always known the fear of that. It comes in waves. But it comes daily. And it doesn't go away. I've tried suppressing it. I've tried painting in different styles. I tried painting. I tried meditating. It doesn't go away. It just doesn't. It's part of it. I've come to... And then sometimes you feel like you got it. And you convince yourself that you got it. That you have this awesome style. And you're ugh, just killing it. And then two, three days go by. You're painting and you get tired and bored of it. Because it's because painting is donkey work. It's very hard. It's all day like that. You know, you're, it's like it's very it's consuming right and you think you got it and all of a sudden you don't have it because you're not supposed to have anything you're just supposed to do it and that's very difficult for the mind to conceive <laughs> I swear to god it's very difficult for the mind to conceive to just get it done to just do it like Nike says the mind wants to do it but the mind convinces itself and, convince, and tries to convince you every day that there is a very easy way of doing it and a way that is going to make you feel butterflies all the time. And it might not show up in art with you. It might show up in something else. It might not show up in painting with you. It might show up in, uh, I don't know, the way that you... Uh, interpret your idea of what an artist is supposed to be. Whatever. It, it might show up differently. It doesn't matter how it shows up. The important thing to know here is that it shows up, guys. And so what I'm suggesting here to you is don't listen to it. The the, the, the thing just shows up. It's like a, it's like a demon. <laughs> I, I've gotten some people tell me, how do I get rid of this demon? It's like a demon, right? It just it doesn't let you go, guys. No amount of prayer is gonna let it is gonna is gonna take care of it. Uh, it's doubt. Doubt will always be there. If it wasn't there, everybody would do it, guys. Doubt is the is the gatekeeper of your greatness. That's what doubt is. And you'll feel, there's moments and days that you're going to feel a little better, but it's, but every day it's going to come and visit you and it's going to ask, and it's going to remind you, it's going to tell you, Hey, you think you're a badass? I'm going to make you doubt yourself. <laughs> I think it's funny because, because people think that I don't feel that. Um, I feel it. I just, just tell it to, I just tell it to fuck off. <laughs> 
but I feel every inch of that fear. <laughs> every bit of it, guys. I feel it. And I know there's people that think that I don't. They're like, you know, everybody feels it, guys. I don't care what art. If the artist doesn't feel it with their artwork, they're feeling it with the prize of the artwork. Oh, okay, am I going to be able to sell it? They're feeling it somewhere, but you're feeling it. And 9 out of 10 people are feeling it everywhere, especially in the artwork. Because if it was easy, again, guys, everybody would do it. And it's not easy. It's not easy. It, the, 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 the work itself is easy. The psychology of it is the reason why most people don't continue creating the work. It's the psychology of it. All right. Look at that. Man, that's good. Let's paint some whiskers on that. Whiskers on that. Whisker. 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 Whisker, 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 whisker. There it is. My name is Jose Trujillo, and I'm an artist, guys, and I am very happy and proud to show you guys my work, even though I fear every single day. I thought I, I, I thought I told tell you this so that you don't feel alone, guys. And when when you feel like you don't want to paint or that fear kicks in. Just remember, I have the same feeling. It's okay. You got this. All right? Take care.